I'm about to head to bed. I just want to give a few thoughts on today <laughs> on what happened in Flint, Michigan. Earlier today, I went to a, it was actually a, it was at the um, Genesee County Administration Building in downtown Flint. If you don't know, the Genesee County Health Department has mandated that K-6, from my understanding, K-6, maybe all schools, I don't know, but K-6 kids have to wear masks in schools in Genesee County. That was a mandate they pushed because of a Delta variant or whatever. So the Genesee County Health Department had a board meeting today where pissed off parents, lots of them, were in there voicing their concerns. You had parents from Flushing. You had parents from Grand Blank. Uh, I think you had a couple from Montrose. Um... Right in Flint, I think. There was a guy from right in the city of Flint. All over Genesee County. Um, there might have been a couple from Burton. I'm not exactly sure. But they're all over the place. What I seen in there today was a fucking clown show. They didn't even vote. The fake news media said they vote, but they didn't. It was a It was a fake vote or whatever. For now, they're going to keep the mandate and it's going to uphold. But what I seen in the room today, if you were inside that room today, at the Genesee County Administration Building, what I seen in there was a fucking clown show, a circus, a zoo, whatever. No respect for the U.S. Constitution. And I'm going to address a few people and their comments. You had a fake preacher up there from whatever church in Flint saying that my church is going to wear a mask and I support the mask mandate and blah, 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 blah. First off, did this fake prophet, I don't know what the hell, how he's running his church, but I'm glad I'm not a part of his congregation. See, my church that I go to, the guy is a constitutionalist. Okay. You know what he did? He never shut down during this pandemic. And then we had a lawyer. I think she was from Flushing. Maybe I'm wrong. Some, I think she was, from, well, maybe, maybe Fenton. Maybe Fenton. I think it was Fenton. A lawyer. Who came up there and said, came up there and said the mandate is not optional. I got news for you, fat ass. It is optional. It's not law. This lawyer, I don't know what the hell law school she went to. But obviously, she needs to get a new lawyer degree. Because obviously, this lawyer doesn't know the difference between a, a law and a mandate. I'm just going to say this right out. She was so ugly. She, she said she had a one-year-old. Who, who would fuck her to make a one-year-old, to be honest? Is that guy on meth? And then we had... Uh, I'm not going to go on about that old bag... The one who said that the government's responsibility is to ensure safety. No, that's our responsibility. The government's only responsibility is to ensure our rights. I cannot logically see how anybody can support this shit. Abusing our kids. Then you had a, they called a veteran on the phone. They called him on the phone. First off, why is the director calling people on the phone? If, they're, if they could not get their ass into that building, then they shouldn't have any comment. And then the second person that the director called on the phone, I couldn't even understand what the hell they were saying on the phone. Oh, I think I made the director mad because as he was leaving the building, I was standing right there by the door with my sheep shirt with the muzzle on it. And as the director, the one in charge, as he was walking outside, the, going towards the door, he gave me the nastiest look. And then when he walks outside the door, he looks through the window and gives me another nasty look, like he wanted something. He gave me the nastiest look. And I think I know why, because I disrupted a few times. 
because I had to remind a lawyer that a mandate is not law. It's pretty, I don't even have a law degree. I don't. I never even graduated high school. I have a GED. I'm a fucking loser that has a GED. That's all I am. I never went to college. I went to trade school, got a trade. That's it. It's pretty sad. I got to remind a lawyer that a mandate is not law. And I disturbed it. I disturbed the room. So I know that director, who I don't even know his name, that big, tall, Tyrone-looking motherfucker, he gave me the nastiest look. And I feel damn good about it. The feeling through it went through my body when he was giving me that look. I felt grateful. What I witnessed today inside the Genesee County Administration Building on, on, on the third floor, as soon as you come off the elevator, you go to the left, and there's the room right there. On Right off Beach Street. Third floor. What I witnessed in there was sickening, disgusting, stomping on the Constitution, no regard for the Constitution, no regard for life, no regard for the community, no regard for these kids that have to go to school now and endure this crap that the Genesee County Health Department is putting on people. They don't want to end the mandate. They'd pull your kids out of school, they lose their funding, and the teachers lose their jobs. It's as simple as that. Maybe they forgot that we the people have the power, not them. They don't make the rules. We do. We are the people. Let's get that straight, director. And to some doctor who went on vacation and didn't even show up. To all the board members, you're a fucking disgrace, and you, and to the mainstream media that walked out early, another fucking disgrace. Fit an agenda. The independent news stayed to the end. Thank you to me, Raging Rob Kinnison, and thank you to us against the media that stayed to the to the very end. There was a couple other independents in there. I don't know who they were. Never seen them before. I mean, I'm glad they were there and stayed to the end. What I witnessed inside that room today was absolutely despicable. It was disgusting. And it makes my fucking skin crawl that this is the United States of America and this shit is going on and nobody has the gall, nobody has the gut to stand up to these tyrants. Yeah, I did disrupt the meeting a few times and I feel damn good about it. Guess what? They got another meeting coming up on the 25th of August. And I might show up. But tomorrow I'm going to Lansing, well, in a few hours, at 9 a.m. Because I got another meeting to go to. Because there's a bill that's working through the legislators right now. I don't remember the exact number. HB 4461 or something. I don't know the exact number. I think it's 4471. I might, my numbers might be off. I don't know the exact number. But they're having a meeting tomorrow. At the Anderson building at 9 a.m. This bill is going to protect workers. Workers rights here in the state of Michigan. So they don't have to get the vaccination. And worry about losing their jobs. This is a good bill. I'm glad our legislators have some common sense. What the hell is going on in Genesee County? And to that director, the one that gave me the nasty look when you when I walked out the room, good. I'm glad you feel that way about me. That makes me feel great. I'm glad I got under your fucking skin. Because your little clown show makes me sick. So after, so I don't know, Andy Shore, the mayor of Lansing, put out a another unconstitutional, illegal mandate saying that everybody's got to wear a mask inside buildings inside Lansing. I think he quoted it, Lansing City Buildings. Well, the Anderson building that I'm going to tomorrow in Lansing, guess what? It's not a city building. It's a state building. So I think I'm in the clear. 
So let's see if I get kicked out of the building in a few hours. Because I refuse to put a fucking muzzle on my face. And then after that, I'm going out to Mount Clemens to another rally from 2 to 5 p.m. Because it, it, because we want a forensic audit. Like yesterday, like last week. From my understanding, some people doing some work right now. Some people running for public office. They're getting something going. I don't know exactly what they're getting going, but they're getting something going. And I was told that Michigan is now following the lead of Arizona. We need more leaders in this state because we're looking pathetic. We're looking pathetic to the rest of the country. Okay? This is a state that had the biggest militia movement in the country. That tells me we have the best patriots. The patriots that I've met in the last year and a half. The best people I could possibly meet in my life. I got the best church in my life. My life is good. And I feel damn good about it. Okay? I have... I, I, I am, I have no fear in me at all. I fear nobody. I have no problem telling these little tyrants and these little dictators at these board meetings, school board meetings, protests, rallies, whatever the fuck. I have no problem telling these fuckers what I really think of them. No problem. And I'll say what I got to say, and I have no remorse about it. And I, I won't feel bad about what I got to say. And that's the way it is. That's just the way I am. I won't think twice about what I say. And I'll sleep well on it. That's just the way I am. Some people say I'm too vicious in my wording. And I say good. That's what we need. They need to hear the truth. Because there's too many people chicken shit. Well, I don't want to say that. Well, I will say it. Because it needs to be heard. I want to be the person that walks into the school board meeting or the county meeting or the board meeting or whatever. And their eyes fucking roll. Oh, this fucking guy's back. Yeah, that's that's who I am. That's who I want to be. That's who I am. I get the nastiest look when that director walked out of the building. I feel damn good about it. Maybe I'll show up on August 25th. Maybe I won't. Who gives a fuck? It's a few days away. Too early to tell right now. I got a lot on my plate right now. So, I got Woodward Dream Cruise to cover this weekend. Next week, I got some other stuff. They got another rally coming up, I think, on the same day, 25th, somewhere else. I don't know. So, maybe I'll show up. Maybe I won't. I don't give a shit. But, as a citizen of this country... I feel obligated to fight for my fellow patriots, my fellow citizens. Okay. You think I do this shit for fun? You know? I'd really be having a barbecue on the weekend and... You know, doing other things. You think I want to be there? In a way, I don't want to. I feel it's my obligation. Because maybe I care too much about what's going on in my society. You know? But we got too many power grabbers out there that are just, we're going to do this, we're going to do this, we're going to do this, and the sheep are going to comply. We need more wolves like me. We need more wolves like the parents that showed up today in Flint. That's what we need. Okay? But then you have the ones that follow these tyrants. Oh, the government's going to keep me safe. That's the government's job. I don't have to worry. The government's going to do their job and keep me safe. You got people like that. It all comes down to this. I don't want your fucking safety. I don't want you to fucking take care of me. I can do that myself. I choose dangerous freedom over your tyrannical fucking safety. And that's the way it is. And I don't feel bad about it. I'm out.